Well, hi friends. <laughs> Starry. Hello. Um, just sharing. Um, this is something that, uh, man, I, I, I really do love and I enjoy. And since the accident, I haven't been able to um, pick it up again because of the extensive damage to my shoulder. And that is um, shooting the bow and bow hunting. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting because uh, I, I like when people try to figure me out and try to assume why, you know, me and Mr. Hilder split. And, you know, there, there's, there's always going to be some of that still going on and, that, and that's okay. But uh, one of the most interesting concepts was that I'm, I, 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 I am a girl and um, it appears that I yearned to be kind of a girly girl. I needed to be pampered at certain times and every woman um, desires that and uh, they could tell when I went to see my sister in Georgia that I really was enjoying the the city life no no and no when I went to Georgia I liked visiting my sister but I hated being there Savannah was beautiful but I couldn't wait to get out it was not something that no a uh, driving to Spokane to the airport where there's people no a uh, going to um, even even to our, our little town I, I, not the town I live in, but like the next one over, which is a little bit bigger. Hate it, hate it, hate it. People make fun of me. They're like, Starry, you need to get out. You know, because I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. Uh, my, my, my friends at work, they'll tell me, oh, we went shopping at the mall. And, and uh, I remember the, the one time they're like, if you're going to Spokane for your a doctor's appointment, stop at TJ Maxx. It's really cheap. You can get some uh, really cute clothes there. And, um, so here I am, I'm in Spokane, and, and I'm like, okay, they said TJ Maxx is cheap, and you know, I need some workout stuff. Haven't gotten anything for years. Uh, I walk in there, I had to leave. I had to leave. I had to leave. It was so much bling and blitz, and, and it w I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And the prices, I, I picked up one sports bra, $24. No. This is where I belong. The woods, the mountains. Um, if people understood um, the dynamics of our marriage, when I went throughout the whole marriage, I did taxidermy. You know how many deer heads I skinned out? I mean, the deer heads. We're not talking whole deer. We're talking about skinning out the deer heads when they come out, come um, come into the shop to be uh, mounted. You know, and they bring the head in, and you got to skin it out. I'll challenge any man who isn't a taxidermist, but you know, just just any man who hunts to a deer head skinning contest. I will, because I'm that fast as a woman. Give me a sharp knife and I can skin out a de deer head and not tear the deer tucks, the, the, the deer, deer uh, <laughs> the, the tear ducts. The tear ducts are the hardest thing to get. You gotta really get in there and not cut off the ear butts too short. You know, and not hack up the eyes. Um, when I was first married, uh, uh, Mr. Hilder put me in the back room, and I was, um, that was, that was where he put me so I could skin out coyotes. Sk coyotes stink. Oh, they stink. So he put me in the back room. No, no lie. With a light bulb in, in the salt room. And there I was back there skinning out, uh, the t coyotes. Yeah. So I'm not a girly girl. See, I'm kind of passionate about that. But I wanted to bring you with me because today is my first day actually picking up this bow and getting it sighted in. And um, I'm really excited about it uh, to see how well my shoulder is going to hold up. And I really want to go turkey hunting and I really want to get back into shooting. Before the accident, I ran this course. There was a train to hunt competition out here. And it was a two-day event. And... Um, it rocked. I mean, it rocked. We had to do a meat pack run, and uh, then we had to do a, a competitive shoot with burpees and push-ups and all this weird stuff. Um, I loved it. I loved it. So um, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back into one of my loves. So uh, there you go. A anybody who wants to think that um, Mr. Hilder didn't pamper me enough, um, no, I'm not a girly girl. No. Uh-uh. All right, so let's get shooting. 
Look, look at this buffle head. <laughs> okay, just took my first shots, and uh, this is 20 yards. Trying to sight the bow in is what it's, what it's called. So I usually start at 20 yards, and this is my first two shots. Um, and obviously I'm like aiming for here. Not, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad, Starry. It's amazing, isn't it? I can actually shoot the bow, and I can pull it back, which is which is awesome. It, it's um, because I haven't shot the bow for a while. You really do have to practice because. Um, I notice like when I start over during the season, I can only take so many shots before I start getting shaky. You know, you just get shaky and you got to build up those muscles. But I'm able to pull the bow back and actually, I'll set the camera up over here so you kind of see what it looks like, um, me, sh me shooting the bow. But boy, it looks like it's, it's, red, it's red in there. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I can skin a deer head and I can shoot a bow. Look at that, my friends. All right, so for all you women out there, this is this is very empowering, right? Right? See? You know, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of women, not women, a lot of men. You know, oh, hang, hang on, I'm not strong enough to pull this out. Hang on, oh. a lot of misconceptions out there about women bow hunting. I think we've come a long way. I shouldn't even say that. We have come a long way. Um, when I did the competition, there was so much some support and camaraderie, and um, women, women, women have come a long way in the bow hunting world, and. This is a great area uh, to live and hunt because we got so much game and there's this is this is the first time that I've really been around a lot of women bow hunters. Um, when I lived back in Wisconsin, uh, there weren't that many women bow hunters. Uh, it was predominantly men and in fact when I used to do competition uh, uh, bow shoots, very little women, very little women. Uh, everybody and there was a lot of gun hunters, a lot of gun hunters. but oh, okay, I'm gonna take a couple more shots. and then you'll get like a wild one and uh, so like I said when you shoot um, you know I have a, after a couple shots I have a hard time pulling back the bow because I'm not conditioned and then you'll start flailing all over the place but oh I wasn't even flailing look at that I was just a little bit off so the cool thing about this place is they've got animals out in the course so uh, I'm excited in for 20 yards. You know what? I'm going to take a walk and I'm going to check out some of the animals. Um, but you know what it comes down to now is just coming to the course here and just shooting round after round. I don't know what to say. And yeah, I know. See, I got a different shirt on. <laughs> Midway through, I decided to change my shirt. Don't ask me why. And I had to put my hair back because it was getting in the in the way. You know, those those are the girly things, right? That, that's about as girly as it gets. Okay, so now I'll show you just a couple things. This is my uh, release. This is a uh, true ball. And I really like it. It's a trigger release. And what you do is when you pull it back, you put it on this little loop here. And then, it, and then you um, bring your finger forward and it releases, right? It releases, it releases the arrow. So now, um, I, don't, I have an old, old bow. This is a really old bow. It's probably over 20 years old. It's a Matthews. It's a solo cam. And it was funny because when I showed up to do this competition, um, everybody had the high-tech, fancy $1,000 bow except me. And um, I remember the one guy said, you know what? And this is that was this this was I'm just saying what he said. He said you could take this whole competition if you had a better setup. <laughs> he says you really need to upgrade. Um, I am a really good shot, but what I did know when I was at the competition, I had all mismatched arrows. I found out after the fact that um, half of them had weights in it because Mr. Hilder put weights in it, and other ones didn't. And um, you know my shooting would be spot on, then all of a sudden one would just go over the back of of an animal. 
that's during competition. That was kind of a disappointment. Um, that was a disappointment, but I had fun and it was cool. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is this is my old fashioned. It's old. This is my site and I'm going to pencil draw in there uh, my 20 uh, yard mark and I'll be good at least for 20 yards and then later on I'll start uh, getting the 30 and 40 and 50 mile mark on here. But let's go shoot some animals. Okay, so here's the first target. It, 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 it's, it's a deer. And the goal is to try to hit um, behind the shoulder blade, which is always the kill zone. That's where the heart is. It's called the 10 spot. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step back there and see if I can do it. Okay. All right, I'm a little bit back, but still in the kill zone. So not bad for my very, 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 very first shot.